Uh, good morning again. We are in the Y Valley today. That's the lay-by that we slept in last night over there. We've parked in Lidbrook. Uh, next to Lidbrook Little Football Club. That was our little lay-by for the evening. Free, very peaceful. There is some residential stuff nearby. Um, so just obviously, you know, be respectful and that kind of thing. We're doing some epic hike today. We're splicing together a couple of all trails routes. And I'm not even sure what they're all called, to be honest. Um, babe, have you got the route info? No. You haven't got the route info. Let me find the route info. <laughs> okay, so the route we're doing is the Goodrich Castle and Welsh Bickness Circular. Okay, which looks something like that. Okay, that's the first half of our route. So we're going to do that, which is only about a nearly 14k. And by all reviews and such, like it takes about three and a half to four hours. Yes, something like that. About four, yeah. about four hours. So we're going to do that, but we've found that we can cross a little bridge viaduct thing somewhere. Is that correct? Yeah, um, which is where we're heading to now. Is that where we're heading now? Yep. We're heading there now because we're doing the bottom bit first. Is that right? Or the top bit first? Top first. We're doing the top first. We're doing the Goodrich Castle bit first. Now, once we loop back round, then we're going to cross that bridgey viaduct thing, which we'll establish more once we get. No, I think it's actually a viaduct. It's across the other way. Why? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's actually a viaduct, I think. Anyway, we'll figure it out when we get there, right? And then we're going to splice on another bit of a route, which is going to take us to check out Bilbin's Bridge and somewhere below, isn't it? What's it called? Um, oh, um, Simmons Watt. Yep. Simmons Watt Rock and um, do a circular through, I think, Chepstow Woods and that as well, yeah? Yeah. So all in all, it's quite a mission one, this one. We're looking at sort of splicing two, three and a half, four hour walks together. Um, and it's going to give us, with a little bit we're adding on to go and check out the bridge, we think it could be a 25 to 30 k and an eight, nine hour day, this one. So it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. We have looked at some of the trails and we think we've got options to take some shortcuts as well don't we um i think we have some options to take some shortcuts and um knock a couple of miles off here and there which we may or may not do we'll figure it out as we go along as we flick between the um the two navigation maps that we're using today uh, it's going to be fun so yes we've started at what did i call it what's it called that place Lid lidwood lidwood football club lay by opposite and we're just walking down a trail now and that looks like a perfectly good bridge babe can you see it that's it there right in front of us just behind these trees i flick this around uh, there's the old bridge so once you go down the path at the football club literally walk all the way down bear to your left and if you haven't bumped into this within the first five minutes, you've gone the wrong way. So it looks like there's a little bit up there. Are we crossing here, are we? So are we on the other side now? Ah, so we're on the bottom half, Bilbin's Bridge side and all that, yeah? Okay, right. Well, we're going to go and do the top bit first. Because we want to check out the castle as well, don't we? So we're going to check out... Um, I can never remember the name. Goodrich Castle. Goodrich Castle. Goodrich Castle first is going to be like our first sort of major point of interest along the way. Why does it feel like this bridge is kind of rotten? <laughs> Probably because it is. Um, this is the Y River, is that right? River Y? River Y. It's looking a bit brown today. Turned up. It's 
nice though, it's pretty. Isn't it? Yeah. Something's flowing fast, you can hear it. Right, okay, we're gonna walk on, otherwise this video is gonna be another Spielberg epic. Right, to be continued. And no sooner did we cross the bridge and we discovered an old World War II pillbox. And then there's something up there as well, but it looks really boggy and flooded. It looks like a blocked up tunnel bridge of some sort, doesn't it? It's got, okay, it's got red sign on it saying keep out and stuff. Okay, onwards. I just found this little like a traveller's stop, <laughs> fallen tree place. It's kind of smart. I like it. Yeah. Uh, we've just whoops, walked along the river from down here. It's quite muddy through there. It's a bit Indiana Jonesy, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's good though. Keep going. Okay, so we're just still just continuing walking along the river. Um, just following it down, down, down. It's a bit muddy in places. There's lots of wildlife though. There's pheasant everywhere. And you can hear all the birds in the forest on the other side. It sounds like a jungle. It's great. We'll hopefully be over there later. There's lots of little, uh, I don't know, it looks like some kind of grave thing. Can't read it because it's all weather worn, but there's a few little bits like that along the way as well and some old ruins of what would be old farmers huts and that kind of stuff it's nice though, it's really nice I'm just going to keep walking and uh, hopefully come to the castle at some point uh, just walking along we clucked the little waterfall coming over oops, tripped over a big molehill and you can see these like cliff rock things sort of sticking out the top of the forest and from way back there they kind of look like faces in the rocks some kind of like ancient <laughs> civilization thing they're not um i should add but they just they kind of look like it from back there which is kind of smart we think this could possibly be is this the simmons is this simmons what up the top of there As we can see on, I don't know if you can see on this one, but it looks like there's something sort of man-made on top of it, like a viewing point or something. I'm hoping when we do the other side of the river, we'll uh, get to explore up there. There's just thousands of birds, man, nesting in them cliff faces. Sounds like a jungle around here, doesn't it? That absolutely sounds like a jungle with the amount of wildlife you can hear chirping and cheeping away. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Come on, let's go exploring. Coldwell Rocks. <laughs> Did some Googling. <laughs> Coldwell Rocks. There you go. It's nice. Are we going to check that out later? Are we going to be on top of that later, possibly? Possibly. Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, so we... Yeah? And we've got to go up. Somewhere there's a path. Just there, I can see it just there. Through that gate and head up into the woods to take us up to Coppet Hill. Yeah. Up to Coppet Hill apparently. Let's go. I can definitely hear all the birds, you just can't see them. It's quirky. Yeah. Quirky little section, it's decent. It's definitely got some like oldie will worldy sort of feel to it. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're kind of at the highest point that we can reach on Coppet Hill because um, it's kind of sort of private land, it's sort of fenced off, and there's some uh, sort of keep out signs and that kind of thing. So that yeah, would be respectful to the landowner. This, what's left of this little hut thing. And we're going to keep following the trail markers. Which way are we going though, babes? Are we going down or right? 
Good question. Good rich castle. I can't see a castle to the left, so I'm thinking it might be right. We're going right, yeah? Okay. We're going right. There was that sign for... There's a trick point. Ha! <laughs> Stand corrected. It's not on the highest point, though. No. no, that's a bit strange. The cottage is on the highest point, but there's a trick point. So, let's go bag it. Got a bag of trick point when you see it. What's the point of having trick points if you can't bag them? Right, baby? Yes. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd started some specific album and... I photographed every trig point I've ever touched, or even not just trig points, like hilltop, you know, peak top, summit top, yeah. whatever you want to call it, and bagged them all and named them all, because absolutely lost count over the years. Oh, there you go. Sorted. Swagged and bagged. What am I looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, over there. Just flick this. Zoom in. Would that be the castle, do you think? That's Goodrich at the bottom. Goodrich Castle. There you go. Oh, lost it. Okay, we got to make our way down to there then. So we didn't go right, we went straight over. Yeah? Okay. Right, let's get to Goodrich. We'll climb it. I want to encourage you to go down the ladder. Yeah. It's like an adventure playground, this half down. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Can I have a look? It's um, like we found something. Is it just overhanging rocks or is it a hidey place? Cave place? Toilet place? No. <laughs> and you get caught in a downpour. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we reached the base of Copper Hill and turned down, still heading towards Goodrich. Over there, that bridge is known as Kern Bridge. You can walk down and check that out and get back down by the river. If you follow that footpath there, or you can get to Goodrich by keep walking straight. And we've come from up the hill. We've got a bit of road into the village now, just to take us up to the castle. Uh, so make a bit of time up for us. We're a little bit behind schedule. Uh, Goodrich Castle, let's go. Okay, so we've reached Goodrich Castle. Um, there's a nice little cafe there. We can get coffees and cakes. There's toilets. There's a little gift shop, visitor centre kind of thing. Um, you do have to pay to come here. It was 11 quid each uh, to come and have a look. It's part of English heritage sites. And that so we don't mind paying that just to come and have a look and browse it around and we've just realized we've got here and we know absolutely nothing about it we don't know what year it was built we don't know what it was for who owned it or anything so if we find an info board um we'll have a look i'm just going to put some photos on i think for this because it's quite busy there's a lot of people here and um we do need to walk around quite quickly and get back on our route don't we as well so we're going to have a quick nosy i'll take some pictures you can have a look and then uh, if anything of interest comes to point, I'll uh, sort of add it on or whatever. Cool, Goodrich Castle, let's go. I'm just walking around. It actually looks like it's quite well maintained and explorable, doesn't it? 
the turrets. Still got, still got a window in that one. I can't be legit, surely. It's got to be restored. Huh? Okay, this is turning into a right little explore. <laughs> it's just come through the gatehouse, which is there. What is it? Is there anything there? It's a guard chamber. The guard chamber? Guard chamber, so it is. It's nice, like the huge size of it and the thickness of the walls for like what would barely be big enough to put a table and chairs in. You know what I mean? Oh, did I drop my cup? No, we're not. We just come from behind us. Through there, which was the Barbican part. The drawbridge. Look at that. Cannonballs. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. What's the view? Let's get a look. It's not the worst view in the world. This is massive. Hello. Okay, maybe it is worth 11 quid. Looks <laughs> yeah. so like that would have been a cannon. That's a modern window, that. that. And it's got the radar research thing on there and the, that thing we saw earlier. Just little nooks and crannies. I think that window's been put in to help preserve it, haven't they? Stop the elements getting in. What did you find? Is there a way up? Again. Does it go anywhere? So I haven't come out of the chapel. I said I was only going to take pictures of this. <laughs> of this. It almost feels like it needs recording and exploring, right? Absolutely changed my mind. Okay. Come on a tour with us. The place is massive. You missed a whole section over there, you know no. that? No, I don't. Well, I realise where that leads. Okay, that goes off. That goes off to take us to the next section where we got this bit. That's where we've just come from, down there. Port Cullis Chamber. This room contains a very rare survival in an English castle, evidence for the mechanism that raised and lowered the portcullises. Which is where? Which is that thing there? Ah, oh, would have been where that hole is. 
keep rectangle recesses on the wall ahead and have the turning of handles. What's in there? This is where they used to lower the port colours from, babe. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it would have been in there. That's where they would have turned it from. And then I'm assuming there's like, I don't want to drop my fucking phone down there. <laughs> Look at this, this is decent. You can see that bridge from over there as well. What was that bridge called? Kern Bridge? Yeah. Kern Bridge. I'm so terrible for remembering things. So, no short term memory whatsoever. Huh? It looks like it used to be a chimney. Uh, it's like a diagram. The diagram, you can see where. That's Look. where. Mm -hmm. I've never actually seen that before in a castle. They say it's rare as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good rich castle. Decent. What's over here, baby? We've got another. Is that just a viewpoint? Guard post window thing? What would have been? I don't know what's left of the other fireplace there, look. Oops. Let's go across that balcony bridge bit. Huh? Go across that balcony bridge bit. Through the dark tunnel. It's lovely, man. Isn't it? where we came from. Yep. So what would that have been? It would have been a moat, wouldn't it? I would imagine, of some sort, possibly. Or unless it was like the outer... I don't know, it could have still been the grounds, couldn't it? Possibly, because there's like... Oh, yeah, don't drop your phone. Smile. <laughs> okay. Keep walking, keep walking. Oh, we got the East Range by the 15th century. Oh, yeah, we found out it was built in the 13th century. Uh, by the 15th century, Goodrich was starting to feel cramped. And so what family would own the castle since the reign of Edward II in the early 14th century and needed more space. Mm -hmm. So they built... Because obviously having a castle, everyone needs a few extra turrets, don't they? Store your ball gowns and your spears and shields. Oh, look at that. That's pretty smart. That look. So, yeah, you can see that would have been three story. Set of stairs there. Which would have taken you up. What's up here? Nothing. Apart from awesome views. Hey, smile. Going exploring somewhere else. Like, you know, it looks massive, and like, look how thick the walls are, and then you end up with a room that's I suppose it had to be thick though, doesn't it? Yeah. Make it sort of warm and protected from.
Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. Are you got towers? This is going to be the ground floor of that big. It should look pretty cool. Wow, it looks smaller from here than it did up there. However, it still looks kind of cool. Just higher. I've not really paid any attention to how I'm holding the camera. It's probably going to be awful. I don't care. I'm going to try and get the angle of the. Upright. I can't do it. <laughs> Baby, come closer. Ah, oh, just keep zooming in. <laughs> Not working. I found the dungeons. <laughs> uh, why is it all like? Oh my god, it's dark. Have you got torchlight? Because I can't see a thing. And I didn't put the. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's extremely dark. Okay, exceptionally dark. <laughs> I can barely see you, you know, like even with that torch. And like we're only like, what? Six, eight foot away from the door, it's pitch black. Well. Okay. I'm trying to film and getting nothing. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't fancy that. Absolutely. Dark narrow prison with a vaulted roof. Is it very dark? Periodic flooding as well. Okay, so we've come to a dark, dark and narrow staircase. There's Described by the thing that actually has a rope <laughs> that you need to hold. Jesus Christ, that's steep. Oh, yeah, it's got to be fun to go down. Yeah, very fun with a backpack. Yeah. Backpack, rope, <laughs> yeah. and empty cups. camera, yeah. <laughs> two empty coffee cups. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going all the way up. He done that on purpose, so I lead the way. Christ, can you imagine trying to walk up here and all that armour get up that they used to wear? This has been restored. <laughs> Top of the keep. That was fun. In the mid 14th century, the Lord of Goodrich, Richard Talbot, and Dad, a small priory close by with a community of priests to pray for his soul. It never became a large monastery and was suppressed in the mid 16th century. Jesus Christ, I'm knackered after doing that. I'm proper huffing. <laughs> proper huffing. Have a look at the surrounding views. So, just walking around, we can find the old kitchen bit, which is pretty much derelict. This is the Great Hall. And we found some info boards that said they had some pretty decent feasts going on in it. And we've got here the solar block, interesting. And it contained private apartments. You can see where all the additional floors. Mm. Oh, you can get down to the moat down there, babe. Yeah. Let's go down there then. Come on. Come on. So this takes you to the way to the moat, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Would there have been 
Have we like completely lost the outer walls? Because the moat would have been down there, right? So that's what I mean. So there's a whole nother. So is there a whole nother wall section here that would have been here? No, that's a definite design flaw, surely, because you just put one cannonball into it and the whole moat drains away. That's what I mean, this would have been the, like the outer... Outer wood. Yeah, the outer workings of it all. Uh, V's off. Yeah, we've walked around the perimeter, just seen the outside, which we obviously we saw as we walked in, kind of thing. It's a decent place, man. You can spend a long time just walking around here and paying a lot more attention, but we're on a bit of a flying visit to get on with our day's hiking, which is a shame. Hey, come back. Come back. <laughs> okay, so after a bit of a flying visit, unfortunately, um, I can honestly say the Goodrich Castle was definitely worth a visit. Yes. It's definitely worth a visit. It's decent. There's lots of info boards around, like each um, room and section of it that you come to. Um, I didn't really have time to film or discuss a lot, but it's well worth checking out. They do do free guided tours as well, and there was one just starting um, as we went in. Uh, not a bad little. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I could it, was it was, and I could definitely go back and walk around it again twice, uh, take in a bit more detail as well. So, okay, right. So now what we got to do? We got to walk back to the visit centre. Uh -huh. Back to the business centre, quick quick pee stop, and then walk back up to our turnaround point, which is at the bottom of the bridge? Coppet Hill. Yeah? Is it Coppet Hill? Oh. We're going back up to that. No, we're not going back up the hill. But we're going back up to the bottom of the hill. Um, no. we, that's Coppet Hill. Okay, right, hang on, turn around. That's Coppet Hill. That's Coppet Hill, that's where yeah. we were, the trick we point. We'll get to the little crossroads where we turn towards Goodridge. Yeah. We'll get to there. But we'll then we're go, going that way. We're going to go alongside the river on the left side. Okay, so, alright. All the way to the bridge. All the way to the bridge. What bridge? The one that we crossed to start with. Okay, so we walk. Okay. So we're going that way, back up to our start point, yeah? Which should be, what, about a 5k walk? 6k walk? 5-6k walk back along the river and then we can go and do section 2. The second half of this spliced together extravaganza that we pieced together today. Yeah, we're coming up 11k, three and a half hours and that's with walking around the castle. So. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're following the path along the river. It's quite muddy and slippery in places, and it's got its own little challenges, but it's fun, definitely fun. You clear, yeah? Cool. Okay, we've hit an uh, obstruction, a fallen tree, so we're going to have to go scrambling up the bank. It's still, it's very slippery today, isn't it? The mud. I think they've had a lot of rain here. You can tell by the Wye River, the way it's flowing. You're going to have to go over. Oh, go over the top of that. Go on then, straight. Straight up. Oh yeah, that's well slippery. How are you going to get over there? That is, it's very slippery, isn't it? Can we use the tree? To... I haven't got enough hands. <laughs> Can you go that way? Is it better? Yeah. Is it less slippery? <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> 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 sliding. <laughs> sliding backwards. Both feet. Sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get up. 
Oh, oh my god, it's really slippery. They tried to do it one handed as well. Thing is, I actually wanted to go that way. I'm gonna have to go up and over around this tree root. Oh. Okay, I need to put the phone down. <laughs> I need to lose the phone. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Why are you up there still? As you can see from my boots, that was extremely muddy and slippery. <laughs> Fun. Uh, I don't do much obstacle course racing anymore. Um, <laughs> not since before COVID. It was probably the last time we got... Oh no, no, we did done a couple. Done a couple of wolf runs and a rat race 30 weekends. Yeah, but not to the extent that we used to do it. A little bit rusty and not having my my mud claw trail shoes on or whatever. More climbing. Okay. Whew. Okay, so walking along the river still. Nearly back at the uh, start point. We just reached the um, YMCA Y Valley uh, camping grounds. And little church which is there oh, behind the tree. There's like a little campsite there and stuff. It's nice, it's quite quaint walking along here. Probably. Yeah, it looks like that's the YMCA up there. Or Beef Hostel, whatever it is. I'm going to keep following the river. I've got us at over 10 mile now. What was that? Did you hear that? In the river? The river's doing something. It's like it's hitting a point and then smiling and churning up whatever it's called but yeah anyway so we're just over 10 miles um, and that includes the walking around uh, Goodrich Castle and a little detour to get to there and back so, five, hours, five hours exactly yeah and yeah, literally, I'm just coming up 17k as well. So I've got just over 300 meters of elevation gain all in. Yep. And uh, this will be the first half of our route done. This place is actually called what? Welsh Bickner? Is that correct? I think it's like Welsh Bickner where we've either walked through it or we're heading towards it, but it's like the area and district um, where we are. And uh, I think that might be the football ground on the other side there, baby, where we're parked, is it? It looks like it, doesn't it? Let me just flick this so through the trees there. I think that's the football ground, um, which is what we walked down at the very beginning of this video. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So yeah, we're definitely in the, in the zone for completing the first half of the walk. And it's been well worth it, absolutely well worth it. And the Goodrich add on, Goodrich Castle add on, definitely made it more enjoyable. You could actually start at Goodrich Castle, um, you could park there, but do bear in mind it opens at 10, it shuts at 4, and they lock the car park. So if you do decide to go hiking, make sure you're there and out and back, and you've toured the castle, which would be. Doable, but you haven't got much wiggle room either, have you? And yeah. um, whilst we were there, we were actually looking, weren't we? And they, what is it, an English Heritage Site membership, something? Mm -hmm. um, which gives you free entry and free parking to over 400 different sites. So we might actually have a look at that when we get home. Because um, that's potentially like a quite a big money saver, considering, you know, we just spent... 20 odd quid just to go and have a look at the castle yeah, and, so, kind of and we like that stuff we like mixing that up onto our hikes and our adventures especially on the little weekend getaways where we're jetting off and just doing an all-day hike and trying to throw in some tour oh, jesus tourist stuff along the way it is like really muddy today <laughs> look at this like we've just been walking on this mud oh, mud Absolute, <laughs> absolute mud fest all day. 
Yeah, the boots are proper clean. That's why you wear boots. Yes. Oh, look, there's a bridge. So, through the trees there is the bridge. So this was kind of like our, like I said, our start point where we parked up on the lay-by up the top behind the football ground. We should come back to that pillbox on our right-hand side up here. And then what we're going to do now, yeah, we're going to cross, cross over, and we're going to follow the river down on the right-hand side. And we've got to keep walking, keep walking, keep walking um, for a few k. And it should take us, if I'm correct, to Bilbin's Bridge, right? Oh, we're going to do Simmons Yacht first. Okay, we're going to do Simmons Yacht first, apparently, which is like a little detour off or something. And, uh, no, is it Simmons Yacht or is it those stones? The yeah, top of those stones that we saw. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we're going along. But either way, first half complete. Splice two routes together. Second half, here we come. Yeah. Okay, so earlier on in the video, I said you could see like what look like faces in the rocks. There you go. Can you see his eyes, nose, and mouth? I can see it. <laughs> I'm not going mad. Right. Apparently, that is going to be up the top of there is where we need to get to and head. It's quite a long muddy path uh, to pick up this trail, just to pick up this route initially. And uh, so from where we uh, crossed the bridge, from phase one to phase two, we've had to walk about a mile or so, just down this muddy, muddy track. It's a bit, well, I say muddy, it's mud grass and a little bit gravelly in places. Um, just walk down that for about a mile or so, and then it actually joins on with our next all trails route bit that we're splicing on to this. Uh, we've just been having a look at some of the navigation whilst we've been doing it, and uh, we were hoping to extend this to go to Biblin's Bridge and then possibly King Arthur's Cave, but we're, we're looking at the logistics of it and we think it's gonna turn this into almost a marathon hike if we do. And we don't have enough daylight for it. So we are contemplating possibly skipping Biblin's Bridge today and just sticking to the actual trail route that we were gonna do. And then just maybe staying overnight in the van and picking off Biblin's Bridge and King Arthur's Cave tomorrow morning before we head back home, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be down to daylight when we get to that point um, and time taken and that kind of thing. So we'll, uh, we'll see, yeah? Yes. We'll see. It's good though, it's a nice hike, yeah. Same as we always do, make it up as we go along. All right, let's keep going. Okay, a little point of interest. So it comes to a bit, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a boarded up old tunnel. Uh, it's got a big metal gate on it's clearly you know, do not enter I'm not even going to try kind of thing but what's curious is is the way it's facing because on the other side of the river we actually saw another one of those earlier on um, at the start of the hike and that was facing in a completely different direction um, almost facing us uh, I thought it might have been an old possible train line but uh, train line? mining line? no? wood mill, something, something to do with logging and wood or something, I don't know, very peculiar, might have to do some Google plexing and see what I can find about what is with the boarded up tunnels in this area, oh, see yeah. what they're for, yeah, any past before, no, why are we lost, whoops, navigation situation let's get back all right so it turned out that we were too busy chatting away and we missed a little turn off to the left and it was only about 50 yards back which was 
quite fortunate and we're too busy chatting and not following our Apache trail marking <laughs> wilderness trail tracking skills set <laughs> um, as we were walking but yeah there's this nice little through the forest section now and this is the section earlier where we could hear all of those wild birds chirping away and it sounded like it was in the jungle and to be honest with you it even looks like we're in a bit of a jungle doesn't it look at all this weird liking man it's uh it's kind of nice turning into a, a bit of an expedition hike this one isn't it it's had its variety isn't it it's had some you know pretty flat spots along the river and sections where we're linking onto the main routes which were just pretty flat and that but we've chatted away and look at that that's just cool that's just nice yeah. but then you've got the variety of the variety of the rocks and the trees and you know, some tree points to bag and castles to look at and it's a nice route it's a nice route okay up to the top we go uh, they're walking up this bit to Yat Rock and there's whew, wild garlic everywhere. It covers the whole forest bed. Um, if you can see basically every green leaf you can see here and all the way down here, the majority of it is all wild garlic. And you can smell it even in the air, even before you pick it. Um, really strong, really, really strong. On the plus side, we won't get eaten by vampires. <laughs> on the plus side. <laughs> Werewolves on the other end, or grizzly bears. <laughs> Who knows? Hang on, we've got a left or a right here, babe. There's like a little house here, but there's a path off left. And there's one off to the right. I think it's right. What do you think? The back, to the back of the house. Let me try this way. Uh, okay, let's get to the top. The garlic is so strong, you smell it. It's literally like breathing in garlic fumes. All right, so it's quite a oh, big step, kind of staircase up. To the top of Simmons Yacht Rock. It's quite windy, zigzaggy. There's quite a few people here as well. And go there, 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 and then up again into the top, up there somewhere. Okay, we reached the top of Yacht Rock. There's some information about it. There's some walks you can do that take in a few hill forts and stuff along the way. You got a viewpoint on the bridge here, just wait for some people to come off. There's a nice little cafe as well. And picnic benches and stuff. It's all good. Let's see what this is, this walks. I'm gonna turn it off because there's a lot of people coming who may not consent to being videoed. So we're up on top of Simmons Yacht. This is one of the viewpoints. Looking down over the wide valley, it's Coppet Hill over there where we were earlier. What are you trying to look at? There's people queuing up to get on here, so can't see the castle, no, but I can see the church. I can see the church, so it's behind that church, way in the distance, kind of where the river disappears and, and onwards more. So, I'm going to take you up to the top. Um, Come this way. Oh. Got a trig. A viewpoint. And from here, you can see the rock faces again. Beautiful views. Let's 
it's nice, it's busy up here though. Uh, decent. Okay, so up there, follow the thing, climb all the steps, takes you up to that Simmons Yap viewpoint and little cafe. Follow yourself back down until you come to this sign. Okay, but this time, rather than going up the path here, back the way we originally came down, we're going to go to Simmons Yap East and Riverside. And this puts us back on unexplored territory. It was just a little bit of a retrace there from the summit um, back to the trail path. And then we're just going to follow this down, 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 down until we find something exciting. Okay, we've walked down from the top of Simmons Yacht and we've come down to the New Weir car park, which is a little landmark for you, possibly. There's a flick the, someone's getting married at the Royal Lodge Hotel there. There's Y. Was that Y River Rapids Hotel or something as well? Um, there's been some signposts here to you can hire some canoes and kayaks and stops and I think that kind of thing um, to take on the river. We haven't done any kayaking for a while, have we? When was the last time we kayaked? When we went to Lake District last year, Dermot Water and all that, possibly. September time last year maybe yeah got videos of that check those out if you want to have a look so yeah but anyway you can do that um, and now we're gonna head car park and we're still heading away from ourselves at this yep. point um, and follow this trail what does that say there high high meadow woods yeah yes. okay follow the trail that goes into High Meadow Woods. Maybe this sign will show us something. You've got the Simmons Yacht Rapids here. So there's obviously, I should try and get a shot, but you can't really see the river, it's blocked. And we're gonna be walking around a loop that's gonna take us back round on ourselves, yeah? To back to Lidbrook here. So we're at Simmons Yacht here at the moment. Well, east, and on then that side. This side of it, east. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been to west, we're going to east. And we're somehow going to loop back round on ourselves back to Lidbrook, yeah? Yes. Fun! So that's Welsh Bicknell. So there's English and Welsh Bicknell. Yeah. Hey look, if we walk down here, maybe we'll see these rapids. Look, just for interest's sake. You can see how fast the river is flowing. It is definitely flowing fast. Definitely. Oh look, they've got all slalom poles uh, rigged up and everything, look. Or they would have. Yeah, you fancy coming to do a bit of canoeing and rapid running and that kind of thing? That looks like fun, baby. What do you think? <laughs> yes. I'm still trying to convince Vida to do something. <laughs> It'd be good practice for you, for you know what. Yes, it would. It'd be good practice for you know what. <laughs> Not giving anything away until it's 100%. <laughs> All right, move on. Let's carry on. Check these rapids. <laughs> Looks cool though. Okay, so we decided to go to Biblins Bridge, saying it was, it was only a 400 meter 500 meter little detour and this is Biblins Bridge which is like a little infamous tourist little spot 60 meters across the river Y nice suspended rope bridge but it's kind of single file and there's a bit of a queue but we shall wait and we shall have a go Yes, it's a rope bridge boat. <laughs> it's not a solid bridge. It's nice and bouncy, and it weighs side to side, and it squeaks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold it on for dear life, yeah? I just don't want to drop my phone, because if I drop my phone, I'm going to lose it forever in a day. There's definitely a lot of bounce going on. 
this is a cool little route here with with points of interest along the way that just yeah make it worthwhile and definitely break it up a little bit doesn't it with the castle and yeah. Simmons yacht and this Biblin's bridge and I've got to walk all the way across it you haven't officially done it unless you go all the way I want to see if there's a sign for where the cave is okay one more four miles okay so we have a sign here we're at Biblin's Youth Campsite on the other side. Monmouth is four miles. Simmons out west, that's the opposite direction. Two and a half. It's only a mile and a half from, oops, in the trees. It's only a mile and a half apparently from Yat Rock. It looks further. Um, okay, that's that. Kind of cool, I must admit. That was an experience. I'm going to go back without the camera so I can actually enjoy it um, a little bit more about filming right so as part of this side of things Arthur's cave which is this side of the bridge and King Arthur's cave is like another little touristy spot but I've got a feeling it's going to be a good few K there and a good few K back and I'm starting to wonder if this is turning into a a long expedition hike, yes. <laughs> a long, long day. Are we going to skip King Arthur's Cave? Well, yeah, because otherwise we'll come back in the night. We're going to come back in night time if we don't get back. We still think we've got possibly 10k to go. So, right, come on then. Let's go over this bridge. I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, make the most of it. Okay, so if we leave Biblin's Bridge, a little bit of fun. Uh, We've crossed over and we've come back and got to retrace our steps to stick to our, our, our route path. Um, I'm just looking now, I've seen people that look like they've taken that steep path up that way. No, let's just stick to the route, come on. Baby. I wish I'd never said anything. So, <laughs> from this side. Yeah, so this thing's like 60 meters long apparently which is cool yeah so it would have been nice to have got to King Arthur's cave but without turning it into a marathon and a, a 10, 10 11 hour hike we're gonna have to skip that today save that for another day um, as we think we've still got 8 to 10k to go and we're already on nearly 26k so uh, bit of a shame, bit of a shame, we just won't have enough daylight. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's nice though, it's good. It's kind of funny because we walk along and you don't see a, don't see a soul. Haven't seen a person like for like 99% of this hike. Like haven't seen a soul on the trails at all. And then when we reached the castle, obviously we bumped into, you know, there was obviously tourists and people there visiting. Didn't see a soul walking all the way to Simmons Yacht. And then when we got to Simmons Yacht, bang, you know, there's tourists and hikers and walkers and day trippers and stuff. I walked all the way here, didn't see a soul. Got to a bridge, people everywhere. <laughs> so it's like mad. About 99% of the hike actually had the place to ourselves. It's decent. Uh, we're gonna keep walking along now. And uh, what's the next stop off? What's our next point of interest? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll fire the camera back up when something exciting comes along. Until then. And uh, sound of water everywhere. There's all these little mini waterfalls. That one goes all the way up there. I don't know if you can see it properly. But there's like a whole stream going on here with little mini ones all the way along. <laughs> that as well. That was. We're having such a good day, just sort of messing about and chatting our little hearts off. It's, it's been a really nice one, this. A really, really nice one. I really, really enjoyed it. And even though it's long, it's not been particularly taxing, has it? Not as like, you know, some hikes can be like quite gruesome because of the, the train or 
you know, you're constantly walking up here and that. There's, yeah, there's a lot of flat involved, um, which sort of, you know, adds to the distance side of things. The elevation that you do do isn't particularly killer <laughs> compared to some of the things we've done. But then you've got some nice, you got some nice stuff that just takes it along. Man, we were still talking about the castle, and that was hours ago, aren't we? Um, and just some nice little points of interest to break the route up and just keep it interesting and nice. Uh, definitely a good one. Definitely. Onwards. Oh, our, our journey has taken us to the middle of a farm across what I can only describe as one of the muddiest fields we've had all day. And uh, where is he? <laughs> Basically, in the middle, middle of an old playground, they're in. That. This is like an old park. Over there is a totem pole. If I could see it above, I might be able to get a better view in a minute. They're yeah, walking along, and I found something. I just spotted something. So we've turned around and just backtracked 20 yards, and there are some old lime, lime kilns. Yeah, and there is a warning sign, enter them at your own risk. Look, there's another little path up here, where's, little, where's that go? That's got to take you somewhere as well. Oh look, these are like these little bus stop things that we saw. Remember we saw those things at the bottom of... Okay. Whoops. All round, I wonder what's up the stairs. Hey, stand there. Hey. Hey. Just taking pictures. Let's see what's up the steps. Go for a walk. Up we go. Up we go. Is this a whole nother trail? Or, oh no, you can actually see from the top. There is a trail there. Thing's got a top on it. I don't know, it's fenced off obviously for a reason. It looks like the top is precariously placed. Uh, I'm not gonna go over there just in case it all caves in. Uh, it's cool. Ah, I'm now wondering if those locked off tunnel things that we saw earlier, whether they were possibly lime kilns as well, but like on a bigger scale. Possibly. Who knows? I don't know. Does anybody know? If you know, put it in the comments. Let me know. Okay. All right. There you go. What's next? Okay. So from here, we're back. That's the back back of uh, Simmons Yacht, back up there. So that's where we walked. You can see the River Wye. We walked all the way down. We climbed all the way up. We come all the way back down again. We walked all the way around, and down, all the way down from the top, all the way around. We've just come on from up there. We found a little gap in the fence. Back to the River Y. And now we literally just walk back along the river, which should take us back to. Bridge on the up the hill. To the football club. Back to the bridge, up the, up the road, it's a football club. Hopefully the van's still there. And the job's a good one. And yeah, long one. Over nine hours now. Yeah, I'm gonna check in at the van and give you the full stats. This is a decent one. Two routes spliced together. You do need to use all trails for this, um, just to keep an eye on your navigation. Um, a lot of it is quite easy to walk. There's long, there's long sections of it where you know it's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow your nose, and it will take you there. But there's a couple of little turn-offs that could easily be missed. Um, and just uh, link the two, splice the two routes together. There's a bit that's not on the old trails routes. You've got to find uh, the bridge, which I think is called Black Bridge. I think locally it has the name Black Bridge, but it, Black Bridge. But I think it's actually got a viaduct name. 
Snowball Viaduct or something like that, but it's not actually a viaduct. Um, it looks like it's more like old scaffolding now, and it's been... Stofield Viaduct. Stofield Viaduct. Okay, I was close. Stofield Viaduct. Um, which is, I don't know whether it's something that used to be there or has just been put as a temporary crossing or something. Who knows? I don't know. But, um, yeah, lost my train of thought now. But yes, you've got to kind of make your own uh, way over Stonefield Viaduct or Blackbridge, I think it's called locally, um, and walk along the river. It's self-explanatory, and then you will literally just walk straight onto the other section of the All Trails map and uh, take from there. This is a beast. You could do this in... I would probably recommend doing this more on a sunny day in dry weather because it has been very muddy, hasn't yeah. it? Very, very muddy. Some very, 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 very muddy in places. Um, it would be... Lots of slipping and sliding. Of slipping and sliding. It would probably be more enjoyable in a glorious sunny day and a pair of shorts in your shades and and that kind of thing where you could sit down probably a little bit more on the grass and take a load off and maybe do it over the two days do one one section saturday one section sunday uh, all stuff but that's you that's your own preference we like facing ourselves and maxing it out and doing as much as possible what else are you gonna do <laughs> What else are we going to do? Sit there and talk about what we're going to do. You might as well do it. Uh, but yes, anyway, going to check in at the van. Boom. Yay, back to the van. Let me just check my Garmin. Because I paused it. There you go. 9 hours, 25 minutes, 700 metres elevation, 34.49k. Hit subscribe. See you soon. I'll put all the info on the back end of Strava shots and the and the um, all trails routes and everything like that. Bloody good hike, starving, need a coffee. See you soon, till next time.